this is where I'm installing the Pixhawk arming and beeper button module right where the com complex port goes in the Walkera side of the body. Um, there's a button right here that you press when everything's okay, it, the Pixhawk passes arming. Right now it's not going to work because I haven't set it up and the GPS isn't installed, but that's how it's going to be mounted on these. No wire hanging out. And it's firmly installed there and it fits perfectly. And I just went around the edge of it with uh, some hot glue to keep it from popping out, but it actually snaps into that slot perfectly. So then the wire goes into the body and comes up around the power board right here. And then it plugs into the Pixhawk like that. Right here. So that's where I'm at so far with that. The wiring is coming along. Um, there's going to be some massive changes to the wiring though. Um, that's coming up here. When I get this new board in for the LED and th th this, what's replacing this. I'm going to be replacing this board right here with another board that doesn't have a compass on it. It has just the LED and the USB. And the LED that's on it is a large SMD LED that I can take off. This one, if I was to take it off, it has six contacts under it, three on each side, and they're micro. And there's no way to solder wires on that without taking the solder you know, pads right off the board when you move the wire around. So the one I found has a pretty large solder pad uh, on it and it'll allow me to do what I want to do with that. Break out the wires directly from where the LED is soldered down going to the stock L uh, indicators back here. That way we'll get GPS and arming like we're supposed to from the LED driver board which is the I2C bus board. It's going to have the I2C chip on it which communicates the, the LED and the USB but w it also works for the compass so if you can find a board like I did that doesn't have a compass on it, that's what you want because we're going to use the compass on the leg. Um, the other thing you have to have is an I2C bus splitter uh, to make this work because all Pixhawks only have one I2C bus, especially the mini picks. I, I don't know about the full size picks, but that, that's what this is. Now this has to be adapted to plug into the mini picks, but that's not hard to do. Once you adapt that, then you have four ports for I2C stuff. One is going to be for the driving the LED board and uh, USB, and the other is going to be to plug the stock compass in directly into that plug. And the stock compass has that plug on it uh, for the standard 350 Pro. So the stock 350 Pro compass wire will go between the compass and that breakout board right there and plug directly in without having to splice any wires like factory so all that will go inside of here I'm gonna have to build um, and fill this in like we do with the OSD for the OSD to give me some more room to put some stuff there so there we go that's it